In today's video, we will be discussing part two of the pathway to home ownership. So please stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. What's going on, everybody? Mo Williams here from Remax Elite. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you for watching, commenting, and hitting that like button. I truly do appreciate it. It means so much. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me working. It lets me know that I'm bringing some type of value and I'm, I'm actually helping people on this on this real estate journey. This is a great week in New York City. Phase two. Phase two in New York means that the real estate business, we can start conducting business again. That's huge. We can start dealing with clients, going out on showings, bringing people to the office. Yeah, it's just a great week, a great feeling. I really can't wait. To, to, to get in front of more people and help more people find their dream homes. So today's video, we're discussing part two of the pathway to home ownership. But let's quickly recap part one. Part one was how do you become eligible for a home? You know, we discussed things like your credit score, Paying down that, paying down high debt, saving money for a down payment. Those are all in, in part one. I'm going to leave a card up top so you can watch that video, part one to home ownership. Make sure if you didn't see it, check it out. Great video, great information about getting started on this journey to home ownership. Now let's discuss the process of now going on that hunt to look for that home. I, I'll give you a quick story about my journey. My journey started back in, in 2010. I, I was super excited about going on this journey. Like, I never could imagine me being a homeowner. So I really enjoyed the process, getting up on the weekends, looking at different homes, the, you know, the bedrooms, the backyards, the front yards. I found it truly exciting that I was an opportunity to, to put my family into a home. I hit roadblocks throughout the journey, but I was able to get over those hurdles. I was able to get into a home. You fast forward 10 years later, I'm still in my house and we are getting ready to prepare to look for a new house. We're ready to upgrade go bigger and then that's the power of home ownership where you can take something you started with maybe it wasn't your dream home the first one but now you can upgrade to the next house to the house that can potentially be that dream home you was looking for so this journey starts with finding a good realtor a good realtor who, who's knowledgeable who knows the market who knows the area who's educated, who can educate you on what you're getting yourself into, who has good communication skills, somebody you can reach out to. You know, when, you, when you sit down with your realtor for the first time, you, you, he's on an interview. He or she's on an interview. You're interviewing them. You're hiring their services. So you want to make sure that you get the best realtor. You, you, you know, um, buyers and sellers both. Buyers, you want somebody who's going to represent you well, who's going to fight for you, who's going to negotiate, who's going to let you know what's going on, who's going to keep you informed, help you make informed decisions, and who's going to stay with you past the sell. You don't want somebody to, to sell you something and then boom, you know, poof. Magic trick, he gone or she's gone. No, you want that person with you even after. Especially if you're a first-time homeowner, there's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of learning points, a lot of who do I call, who do I reach out to, who can help me. Your realtor to be that, that source, that person that can help you navigate through those, those, those choppy waters in the beginning of your home ownership journey. 
And for the sellers, a realtor who's gonna, you know, come out there, take professional pictures, good video, um, we're gonna advertise for you, who's gonna market your, your, your property very well. The realtor is an important aspect of, of this transaction. You wanna make sure you get you a good one. Then after you find your, your realtor comes the search. The search will start off with, what's your preference? What are you looking for? Three bedrooms, four bedrooms, one level, two levels, three levels, a finished basement, big yard, small yard, front yard, backyard, a garage, no garage, street parking, a driveway. These are things that, that you want to sit down with your realtor and this is what you're going to tell them. This is what you're going to build. Your realtor's going to Take all your information, throw it into the computer, and start a search for you. And then start sending you emails. Hey, this is what I found that fit your criteria. And I know the clients, they're going to be on different websites themselves. Realtor.com, Zillow, sending a bunch of stuff. Hey, can you look into this for me? You want somebody that's going to be available to do that stuff for you. Then once you go through those emails and you go through those different houses that, that we're sending back and forth, we're gonna take a day on a weekend, a Saturday, Sunday, you're gonna get in the car, and you're gonna go to four or five of those houses, probably a day, and you're gonna go through them, see what's going on, see what you like, the three bedrooms, how this place, how, how the layout look. A lot of advice I give to my clients is don't look at how the house currently look. You know, envision your stuff in this house, how it look. I'm going to place the TV here or, you know, my couch is going to be here. I'm going to paint it this color. Look past their stuff. Envision your, your stuff. Don't, don't think about what's going on with, with their stuff. Envision your stuff. Envision your taste. Envision how you set your place up. Look past their stuff, especially if the house is still furnished. Think about how you will furnish your stuff. Then the last part is once you identify a home, it's, it's submitting that offer. The offer can be stressful sometimes because there may be a negotiation where you submit an offer, you get a counter offer, or you may get outbid it. You may have thought like, oh, I found the perfect home. You know, sometimes you may think the door is closed, but another door is open for you. So always keep an open mind. When we're looking for houses, you're looking at multiple houses, so you know, always keep a few that you like and get ready to submit your offer. We'll do a negotiation for you. We'll, we'll get that, we'll get that offer signed. Once that offer is accepted, then we go into contract. Once you're in the contract, now it's a whole new thing. And that's gonna be part three of the journey after the offer is accepted. So next episode, you definitely want to check that out because we have a special guest. We're going to have Jason Schneider from Freedom Mortgage. He's going to come on and give his expertise about the mortgages and the process of lending. So definitely tune into that one. And please don't forget to continue to subscribe, continue to, to hit that like button. Continue to comment. We can go back and forth and discuss. Also, don't forget to check out the website. I'm going to put it up for the rest of this video. Check it out. You can search homes. You can check out the mortgage calculators. There's so many things that you can do. You can see, you know, based on the rates and, and how much a house costs, how much, you know, you can, act, you can, you can estimate how much your mortgage is going to be. So please, you know, check out that website. It's, it's a phenomenal tool. It's a great tool. It's a helpful tool in this process. So please continue to stay safe. Continue to enjoy the content. Enjoy this beautiful weather we have in here in New York City. And enjoy until the next one. Be sure to subscribe.